Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Sport Fishing. But today we're back aboard the Freelance. Sport Fisher operates daily out of Davies Locker, Newport Beach, California. And today we're going to be fishing right here at Catalina Island, fishing close to the island, looking for bonita, barracuda, calico bass, might even see an exotic or two like a yellowtail. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. Welcome to Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez. This week's episode of Sport Fishing is brought to you by Turner's Outdoorsman for all your fishing and hunting needs. By B-52 Bucktails and Magic Metal Jigs. By Yamaha, reliability starts here. By Game Saver for preserving your fishing game. And by Dan Hernandez Baja Style Fish Batter. Tip bouncing, it's definitely a bonita. Right here. Yeah, these are great size fish for light line. Yeah, this fishing 10 pounds. Uh, can't beat that at all. So where exactly are we at right now? This is a can dump right here. Just over to the east end? Yeah. Sitting off of it a little bit. Sitting outside a little bit on the outside area of it. So we can get the bonita coming. We saw the free swimming yellow. It'd be nice if we could get those to start biting here too. Coming up here, guys. Let's see if we can get it in before the seal gets to it. Yeah, that has been the problem this year. Watch the anchor box. Unfortunately, walk, walk your bonita around the boat. Yeah. <laughs> well, it makes for good TV. The, the sea lines have definitely been a problem over here the last couple of years. And Baja, this would make a good bait. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Oh, here, it'll make a good lunch. Yeah. Another fish for the smoker. One more for the oh, smoker. That's nice. Nice panita. Yeah, these things are nice. Good quality. If you bleed them right away, they stay nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. Cook them perfectly right in the jaw. Right in the jaw. Don't need a pair of pliers to take it out. I was fishing sardines, but I was getting a lot of shore fights, so I went to a small anchovy. Yeah. Or a larger size anchovy, but a lot smaller than a sardine. Yeah, because these things, you know, the sardines that we have are a little bit big for these guys. Right. So they're going to short bite them because they are moving so fast. So if you use a smaller bait when they when they hit it, they're going to take the whole thing and you're going to get that bait. They're going to get the entire bait. And the smaller hook is the key. Yeah. You match your... your Hook to the to the bait, not to what you want to catch. Yeah, a lot of a lot of guys are coming out here using a one odd hook on an anchovy, and they're not going to catch it. Yeah, and that's why you got a ten pound test. Yeah. Even if I hook a yellow, I'd rather worry about trying to land it. Yeah. Than not get bit. Yeah, yeah. The, the the bite is the fun. Yeah. Once you get the fish bit, then let your crew help you out and worry about everything else. All you got to do is get the bite. Let the crews on the boat help you out to get the fish on the boat. Thanks, PB. Thank you. All right, let's take a little break from the action here aboard the Freelance and go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the tackle we're using for today's fishing here at Catalina Island aboard the Freelance. This week, the tackle box is brought to you by 
the California Department of Boating and Waterways, reminding you to dump at the pump. This week in Tackle Box, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today, fishing over at Catalina Island. Now, when you start off fishing for these smaller fish, the calico bass, the perch, never know what to expect right up on the kelp, you want to go nice and light. That's why I like using an outfit like this, a Fluger reel. You can go with 12, 14, maybe 17 pound test line at the most, but something nice and light. And then we have the Ugly Stick Custom Rod, just a perfect outfit to throw small baits, something like this, a B-52. Want to go a half ounce model, at the very most a one ounce model. But when you're fishing calicos with a strip of squid or whole squid down here, you really want to go with the B-52 half ounce model. Now, you have to have a bigger rod this time of year when you're at Catalina because white sea bass swim by, the bigger halibut around, and even yellowtail swim through. And because of that, you want to bring a rod like this. This is the Dan Hernandez Custom Rod, rated for 30 pound test line with a Torque 200 filled with 30 pound test line on it. It's a perfect outfit for the big white sea bass that live around here. You can catch 50, 60 pound white sea bass on an outfit like this. Yellowtail swim through here, this will work great for that too. Again, we're going to go with the B-52 Bucktail. We're going to go a larger model, like a two ounce model with a bigger hook, just in case you hook a big white sea bass. You want that bigger hook there, bigger target, and you pin on a whole squid or two squid, works perfect on this lure. Well, that's the basic gear that you need. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> Keep turning the handle as you walk. Turn the handle as you walk. Keep going, keep going. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Stay in front of it. Okay, right there, right there. Back. There you go. Nice bonita. Good bonita. Okay. Walk up to the rail. There you go. There you go. That's a good one. All right. Turn around, finally. That's all right. We'll just bust it off. Here you go. Nice fish. You got Benito this morning or is your first one? Uh, years ago in Florida with my dad. Oh, not this, this time. Is this, no. this is kind different. Of Benita, yeah, right here. yeah, this is Pacific Benito. Yeah. Benita. All right, man. Congratulations. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, stay tuned. We'll be right back with more action board the Freelance. We got a fish going right now. Goofy's help, helping me work, weed my way through here. So, got to kind of force it because we got four seals on us right now. I'm trying to keep pressure on it. There he is. Another Bonita. See where the seals are. Here's a nice. Another nice fish. All right. Uh oh, smoker's going tonight. Yep. Well, we're going to take a little break from the action. Goofy's going to throw this one in my sack. We're going to go to the galley and show you how to cook up a delicious Bonita like this. Thanks a lot, man. This week, the galley is brought to you by Dan Hernandez Baja Style Fish Batter Mix. Great for fish and all seafood. This week in the galley, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're taking a recipe from my cookbook, which isn't really different, but what we're gonna be doing is taking a piece of smoked fish. This is a piece of bonita that we smoked earlier today using the Bradley smoker. And what we did is we took the other filet from this and we got it all chopped up here. We have just about a pound of smoked bonita in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up these little tomatoes, show you how to do like an appetizer dish, really simple to do. So we're gonna take our kind of cut up 
smoked panita. I'm going to take some lemon juice, pour it in there. And then we have some cream cheese that's been all whipped up. And yeah, we're going to take some of that, put it in there. And we're going to mix this up. Now, if you wanted to do this correctly, you would throw this in a food processor so it could mix it all up nice and easily for you. But uh, just to give you an idea of what it's like, I'm going to mix this up here. Now we're going to go ahead and add some green onions and a little bit of dill. A little bit more lemon juice. And that's all there is to it. You just mix this all up together. Okay, this is about how it should look. Like I said, if we had uh, been working with the food processor, it'd be really quick, but getting a little bit of exercise here. All right, this is a finished dish. And what I'm gonna do now is just take a little spoon, grab some of this panita, and stick them inside the tomatoes. Just gonna stuff them like that. And that's the whole dish, just stuffed tomatoes. And what you'd wanna do is you'd stuff all these up and then put a little bit of like saran wrap over the whole whole dish and throw them in the refrigerator and let them sit there for a good hour or two. You know, and if you wanted to do this the night before, you can. And just fills them up nice. And it's a really nice little appetizer. This is just one of the many recipes that we have in the cookbook. And you can find the cookbook on our website and some of the local taco shops. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Just another way to use the fish that we make with our Bradley smoker. This is bonita, I know a lot of people think bonita isn't a good eating fish. Really it is, it's great to, you can grill it, you can bake, you can do lots of things with bonita. You just have to really clean it really fast, chill it down, it comes out nice. And today we use it in the Bradley smoker. And this is the end result. Mm, that's good. Well, for more tips and information on how to cook your fish, please visit our website. We have all kinds of recipes there. Let's get back on the water, show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. My name is Goofy. I'm a deckhand here on the Freelance. We're fishing the can dump here. We got Benita boiling around. We see some free swimming yellowtail coming around. We got the sardines going over the side. We got a lot of, a lot of the chovy going over the side. Really good fishing. It's been a slow season, but we got really good fishing right now. We're getting quite a few calico bass. We've got some sheephead on the boat here. So it's been really good, and we just started our day, so it can only get better from here on in. Whoa, see? And I think I hooked the barracuda. We're working it right up on the surface. Now I got seals chasing it. We're having a good day out here, catching a lot of bonita. Oh, seals on it. Seal got it, so let's see if I can get it loose. Nah. I have a barracuda on here. They just let it go. I have a barracuda, but the seal got it, so I'm probably only going to get about half of my fish back. Get that. Here comes the seal on it right here. There he is right here. You can see, see where, the bear, where the seal bit it? Right back here. But this is a Magic Metal Light MM7, just working it on the surface. And barracuda. Probably have to release this guy, huh? It's about an inch too short. It's just a nice fish, get it on that. On the jig right there. It's almost three inches too short there. Yeah, I know, the seal bit it on the way in. I put it in free spool and then the seal let it go. Yeah, they, they do that sometimes for some reason. It's like they just grab them for the fight of it, for the fun of it now. Yeah. So you put it, in, you flip it into free spool, they let it go, then you can get it away from them. They lose interest in it. Yeah, because it's not trying to get away. Yeah, it's like a dog. They're just lose interest in it anymore. The ball doesn't roll anymore, they don't want to play with it. So all right, that was a nice little barracuda. Got a magic metal light, MM7. Awesome jig. This week's boat bio is brought to you by Magic Metal Jigs and B52 Bucktail Jigs.
The Freelance is a large sport fisher that operates daily out of Davies Locker in Newport, California. She's a very big boat, has large bait tanks that carry plenty of live bait. The wheelhouse has the most modern electronics for navigation and fish finding, and she hosts one of the largest galleys out of any sport boat in Southern California. Her deck is very big and there's plenty of deck space for all the anglers to do their fishing. For your next fishing charter, book a trip aboard the Freelance out of Davies Locker. <laughs> another fish going. Skipper just made another move and uh, every little kelp area we've been hitting today has been holding fish. A mixture of bonita, a few calico bass, and some barracuda. Here comes a nice fish here. Looks like another bonita but Boker. what is it? Bonita? Yeah. Yeah. Another bonehead. Oh. Oh, here it comes the seal. Oh! oh. Okay, I'm going to bounce them up here before the seal gets them. There we go. There's our bonita. It's quality fish. Lots of fun, especially on this lake here. Oh, yeah. Like, these things are nice and firm here, too. The water's not too warm, so they're not softening up on us. That's one of the nice things about going on a trip like this. Our boat left this morning at six o'clock in the morning out of Newport Beach. And if the fishing was good along the beach, we would have just stayed there. But uh, Goofy and the captain made a decision to run over to the island because the uh, conditions right on the shore, right on the beach. Just didn't, didn't yeah, look right Didn't look morning. that good. But out here at Catalina Island, a beautiful little run out here about 30 miles. It's beautiful fishing. You can't beat it. Catching everything, Benita, Calicos, Calico, we had a yellowtail. Yeah. Uh, calicos, rockfish. Can't beat Catalina for fishing. It's, it's probably one of the 
best areas in Southern California, I think, just, just on the mixture of fish that we catch out here. And we have millions and millions of people live in Southern California, like what, 15 million people just in Southern California, and it's hard to believe 30 miles away you could be here and there's like, yeah, it's every, like you're in paradise. No, yeah, no everybody way. wants to go to Hawaii, we got it right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action, and when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. This week's tip of the week is brought to you by Magic Metal Jigs and Bucktail Jigs. For this week's tip of the week, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we did today. Now we're aboard the Freelance fishing here at Catalina Island, and today the fish were a little picky. I mean, we caught lots of fish, don't get me wrong, but the fish only wanted a good, lively, live bait. And it's very important, especially when you get a situation like this where the fish are more picky, that you're constantly switching your bait. Have a good live bait in the water all the time. Shouldn't leave your bait in the water more than maybe two or three minutes, then wind it in and grab a new one. And as you can see here, we got plenty of live bait. It's the end of the day, and we still have good live bait here in the tank. Today we had a mixture of anchovies and sardines. And so it's really important that you're switching your baits out. And that's this week's tip. When you, especially on a day like today where the fish were a little picky, have a good lively bait. You should always have a good lively bait. But in conditions like we had today, that's a hot tip. That's how we cut all those fish. Well, I want to thank the crew, the freelance, Goofy, our Captain Chris, all the deckhands, Ricardo, and everybody. We had a great time today fishing aboard the freelance. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing. And I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.